Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy's Corner. Um, it's 2016, we're going to do it a bit differently. Today we're going to involve you guys in. You're going to get a lot of that this year. Involvement. So today we're going to do drum chat question time, which will include questions being thrown at myself and uh, other members of staff at Drum Shack. But because I'm usually the guinea pig for these things, we're gonna start with me. So uh, yeah, fire away. So we got this little hat of doom where we're gonna answer the questions. All right, so I'm gonna take one out. I haven't seen these questions before. So I'm a, I'm a, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so first question. What are your tips and tricks for transporting gear around town? What are my tips and tricks for transporting gear around town? The answer for me is simple. I use friends and Uber. Good one is getting a trolley. Um, or obviously strapping that stuff on. I've got quite a few friends who do that. Um, another one would be get a big enough bag. Um, I'm gonna little plug here. I use this protection racket bag. It makes me look like a ghostbuster. But I can still get a hell of a lot of gear on my back and still be holding a snare bag and uh, whatnot on the other side mobile phone because it's a big one and uh, yeah that's that's my that's my stuff question let's shake that hat hold up best and worst show ever okay oh god um, best and worst show ever I think oh god it's been so <laughs> it's been so many okay pause so I, I don't there, there are so many good ones there are some really really good ones where obviously you meet the right people and you know you have the right uh, reaction when you do gigs it doesn't really um, matter whether the gigs big or small you know whether there's a lot of people whether there's not so many people but it's the vibe that's created so I would say there's been a few of those I can't pinpoint one um, I think one of the worst was uh, when I was in uh, Grenada and um, we did this outdoor gig and um, there was <laughs> there was a there was a guy who um, who didn't agree with what we were doing and he also happened to be a voodoo master so he came in front of us as we were on stage and he was like half naked and then he started doing incantations on the stage as we were playing which was a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit deep to see that because <laughs> we're from England. <laughs> the, guy, the guy walked away naked. You know, he was very happy because things started going wrong. Then when things started going right again, then he got into a half and he moved his naked voodoo self away from the premises, which was interesting. Right. Last question. I'm gonna pull this out of the hat. Hat of doom. All right. What do you consider to be your gigging essentials? Right. If I wasn't carrying a bag some sort um, I'd always take my chopper because it's a wicked little effect my little saving chopper the 10 inch one oh so I always take that everywhere I actually have it in my stick bag just in case I forget it um, and I've got a big stick bag as you guys can remember um, and uh, what else do I take I take my little recording device my little rolling recording device so I can listen back and hear how crap I was or not um, and obviously some sticks because the last thing uh, you need is um, not having sticks and having to borrow someone else's and a look on their face as you're using their sticks which I've never faced obviously um, and one more thing always a clutch I always bring a spare clutch um, usually a very generic one so it fits on most things so that's me done thanks for watching um, please do continue to send us in your interesting questions um, you can do that via Twitter um, just uh, send in a question and hashtag question time with a KW you should see it on the screen now bang and uh, we will endeavor to answer your questions no matter how foolish they are